What's up everybody, Jossie here, and in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. We're also gonna be doing some first impressions. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. So I've actually been waiting for the 14 inch MacBook Pro for about two years now, or whenever we started hearing those rumors that Apple would be releasing a 14 inch MacBook Pro. I actually didn't pre-order this 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro. This is the base model that starts at $2,000. I actually did buy the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro a few months ago and I should have honestly just waited. With all that being said, let's get into the unboxing and first impressions of the new 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. The M1 MacBook Pro 14 inch that we're gonna be unboxing is the base model. So it comes powered with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD, and an eight core CPU. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to stay with the base model 14 inch because I think it makes more sense for me to upgrade to 10 cores, especially since I'll be running pretty powerful applications as a software engineer and content creator like Premiere Pro, Xcode, and other applications. The packaging is still incredible as always for Apple devices. You've got the Apple logo on the left panel of the box and it says MacBook Pro on the top and bottom panels. Flipping over to the back of the package, you'll see the serial number and the specs for the MacBook Pro. One other thing I almost forgot to mention is that this box was actually heavier than I thought. One thing you'll notice about these new generations of Macs is that they're beefier because they're really designed for the pro user, not necessarily for someone looking for a very thin and lightweight laptop. The first thing I noticed about the 14 inch is that it's more squared type of design and it's definitely more thick. Inside the box is the new MagSafe charger and the 67 watt USB-C power adapter. MagSafe will be really convenient to use, especially when traveling, so I'm happy to see that back. One thing you'll notice is that Apple seemed to listen, so it almost feels like this new generation of laptops took a step backward or in the past to go forward if that makes sense. I think these laptops remind you of like that 2015 MacBook Pro models that everyone loved with a much, much better display. All right, now that we took a look at what's inside, let's officially pull the paper off for the first impression. I really like the MacBook Pro logo on the bottom. That's a really nice subtle touch to make this device feel like the next generation of laptops. You'll notice at the bottom of the laptop, there are chunkier feet. So the laptop is raised, which makes sense. The vents are at the bottom and the vents need to get air. Also, I think that gives you a better experience when you're using the laptop and not using any external peripherals. Ports. Arguably the biggest topic surrounding this new refresh of laptops. I've really been looking forward to Apple adding ports opposed to removing them because let's face it, no one likes dongles. We have the MagSafe port, three Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We've got the HDMI 2.0 port, which was really surprising, but I'm glad they brought it back because I found myself not having enough ports to charge import footage and connect to an external display. So I'm very happy we have the dedicated HDMI port. And of course, the SD card port that they got rid of for like 
four or five years, which really didn't make sense considering so many content creators rely on transferring footage from their SD cards to their laptops. Now let's talk about this keyboard that has a blend of new school and old school. You have a full row of function keys with touch ID that replaces the touch bar that we all kind of stop using after a while anyways. You'll notice that the keys and distance between each key is pretty identical with the previous generation of laptops. But there's like this tray design for the back plate or black surrounding plate that matches the keycaps underneath the keys, which adds striking contrast to the rest of the chassis, especially if you have a silver MacBook Pro. But on the Space Gray model, the contrast is less noticeable. The last thing I wanna talk about is the new panel retina display. This is the most exciting part of the laptop in my opinion. I'm all in on this display. It really caught my attention when I was at the store. When comparing the display to the 13 inch, it's almost like the 14 inch is that guy your girl told you not to worry about. The panel has XDR screen technology, which stands for extreme dynamic range. And you can really see that experience when looking at the background as it just perfectly sits behind the taskbar and dock. The new XDR screen has an increased range of colors. It can display 120 hertz refresh rate with ProMotion technology. So you'll notice the experience is pretty similar to the iPad and iPhones. With XDR scrolling through web pages and documents, it should feel a lot more smooth. I know for a fact that I'll definitely be consuming more content on my laptop because this display is incredible. The colors are more accurate, better dynamic range, and exceptional contrast. Now the elephant in the room is a notch, but to be honest with you, I've gotten used to seeing that on the panel of my phone, so it doesn't really make a difference for me. Bezels are much more thin than the previous generation, giving us more screen real estate, so the screen seems larger than you expected for a still relatively minimal and small laptop. So that concludes the unboxing and the first impressions of the 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. If you wanna see a dedicated review of the 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro or even the 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts on Apple's new release of MacBook Pros and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can know right away when I release a video. And as always, have a wonderful, blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon, peace.